Hey guys, what's going on? It's Archer back here today with another Black Ops 3 tips and tricks video. Today, we're going to be going over what is, in my opinion, the best specialist to use while playing Black Ops 3. Uh, this could go with public matches, or I guess it could go either with uh, over into competitive as well. But one thing you guys have to keep in mind, this is just my opinion, so don't take everything so seriously because you guys may have a different opinion. Uh, so if you do, uh, feel free to leave that in the comment section below so I can look at and what you guys are interested in. But in my opinion, the Scythe is probably the best, and there's multiple different ones that compete with it, and then there's a select few that just completely blow. But overall, the Scythe, in my opinion, is the best. It can be used offensively, defensively, aggressive, all of that. And this gameplay here is it, not a very good gameplay, but there was a select few clips with the Scythe that made it stand out and how it can be used to change the momentum of the game. Now, with the Scythe, you want to... You, you can use it at both short mid, and like long range. Um, I prefer like close range because it kills really fast. So, you could use it like, really, really aggressively. But at long range, it, it also kills very fast as well. So, you can still use it there as defensively. So, for an example, say your team is down, let's say, 20 points and you're playing hard point. Right, you could activate your scythe, you could run in, be aggressive, and you could clear out the hard point because it kills, I think it's 3 to 5 shots. I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. But that may be what it is. So, and then that's how it could benefit you. But if you're playing defensively, you're trying to control the hill, you could activate it and it would sit a post up and just defend. So that's what I like about this. You can't do that with all specialists, which is why this one stood out to me. Another reason I like the sauce is because it's within the Reaper class, and while you're using the Reaper, your footsteps are ac actually very quiet. It's actually the hardest to hear if you're playing against it. So that's another thing I like because I do get sound hoard a lot, and Dead Silence is a perk I do use on just about every class and I, while I play Search and Destroy. And this is one of the specialists that I use while playing search. So that's a benefit there because I don't always have to use dead solids. That, now, we're coming up here on the clip in which I use this to be aggressive. Now, we're up by five kills, and I know there's people here. And right here, you're going to see me. This guy's going to come in, and he's going to glitch back. All right, So I'm going to keep this rotating so I can be ready to fire. This guy's going to push up, and I'm gonna, after I kill him, I'm going to get aggressive right here. You see, I'm gonna post up, then I'm gonna push. I push with my teammate, then I'm gonna see this guy here. Now you're gonna see where it's effective at long range. See, I didn't get the, the kill, but you see, I, he noticed I had a scythe and he ran. So, you have 160 shots with the scythe, which is plenty enough. It's actually a little bit too much, in my opinion. It was 200, but they lowered it down to about 160, which uh, wasn't a bad thing. It's actually kind of a good thing because it's 200 shots, which just about overpowers the thing. But that just about wraps it up. The uh, it's not really much else I can go into with the sauce, um, other than when you use it, make sure you're holding in the left trigger to keep it spinning if you're coming around a corner or something. Because if not, um, you're at a disadvantage because it does take longer to shoot if you're not doing that. But that's just about the final tip I can give you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you can learn to use the Scythe, get better with it, um, and use it to your full advantage. Uh, so that, it's been Archer, guys, and I uh, hope you guys have a nice day, and peace.